Sup guys! Hello! So, something very cool that I'm working on currently. I'm working on a witch zine along with this um, British uh, illustrator. She contacted me like one month ago or something because she's doing an illustration course and she has this project where she needs to collaborate with another illustrator or artist uh, to create something together and her mom is Portuguese uh, so she wanted to do something to celebrate uh, Portuguese culture and we are both huge fans of all things witchy and autumn related stuff so we are um, making a witchy zine uh, it's going to be free so hopefully uh, by the end of October or something uh, it will be released I hope we can make it on time and it's gonna be really fun and we are also inviting other Portuguese illustrators to join us into making cute illustrations for the zine it's gonna be like some sort of fictional world with uh, witch students and they go to a school like very basic but the school is based on some portuguese monuments and castles and it's gonna have some locations that are inspired by real places it's gonna have recipes it's gonna have some fictional ad pages and this one um, because witches have familiars and pets and this is gonna be like a nav for a fictional store that sells pet clothes and I absolutely love this chunky boy and also this very chunky pigeon so this is one of the projects that I'm currently working on it's still gonna take a long time so I'm very excited to share more about it in the next month but today i want to sketch uh, summer products because i'm very behind on my summer shop update i've already sketched some things that i want to include as products you already know the deal these are sketches for clay fins i want to bring back my um, sailor pigeon she's one of my favorite boys and we're also gonna have some fishies uh, these will be hairpins like the ones that I did last time and I have a lot of fun making hairpins and I want to make more with fishies and a long chunky cat and also bird necklaces these are going to be the usual birdies that you guys always love we're going to have more pigeons and also I'm going to make a I don't know how you pronounce it. Green corner, green corner. I don't know. Help. And we are also gonna have a red cardinal because they are very cute. And people from the United States keep asking me for cardinals, so we're gonna have them.
guys so these days it's been really sunny and it's been great to take some nice long walks at last because after all these rainy months we definitely need a bit more sun and a few days ago i made a q a on instagram and i got some questions from you guys so i'm gonna try and answer them and the first question is what inspires you so i feel like this is going to be very basic very cliche but i'm very inspired by nature like plants and animals especially birds um, and i'm also inspired by vintage stuff and also by old children's stories like Heidi and Anne of Green Gables and I'm also very inspired by teenage girls cartoons like Winx and also Witch. I like to search for inspiration on Pinterest and also on birthing books because these are very great. They have a lot of photo references and it's easy to try to come up with new ideas. Well, the next question is how do I practice drawing cute animals and um, drawing cute animals isn't as straightforward as it might look because I like to kind of give my personal touch and style to my illustrations so for example uh, if I'm drawing an animal that I'm not very familiar with uh, I might try to make some sort of semi-realistic sketches to really kind of understand how the shapes of that animal work, if that makes sense. And then once I finally get the hang of it, I will probably try to add my personal touch, like making that animal a bit chunkier and add some silly eyes. I'm trying to find some examples for you. So for example, I'm still getting used to drawing fishes. So to practice, I started by drawing some, uh, it's not very realistic, but it isn't as stylized per se. And once I get the hang of it, I will start making fishes like a bit more silly if that makes sense so this is more or less the process that i use for uh, like to draw cute animals like these are some old sketches and i sketched a lot of birds and after a while i started to add some cute hats and clothes to birdies so that's more or less my process the next question is how do i pick the colors for my illustrations and I normally don't stick to a single color palette every time but a few years ago uh, when I was trying to be like very consistent and cohesive with my Instagram feed I remember that I was like uh, drawing random color palettes and see which ones I like the best and I know I sort of came up with this color palette that I absolutely love which includes a lot of greens and also reds because I really like vibrant colors but I usually like to try different ones every now and then like for example for summer I usually like to go for a more of a pastel theme like these with more soft colors my process to pick a color palette is very simple I just like try to figure out which colors match the best next to each other and you can do this on your favorite drawing software it's very easy to just draw random spots of colors but if you're having trouble figuring out which color palette to use uh, for a specific illustration there are a few online tools like for example this one it's called Coolers and it's very popular among uh, graphic designers because uh, you can generate um, palettes and it's very convenient but yeah I basically just like to play around with colors before starting an illustration and the next question is what's my favorite thing to draw and I think you guys already know I love to draw birds and pigeons and chickens and also 
cute witches and plants. So I think those are my favorite things, to be honest. And lastly, this person asked what clay do I use to make the pins uh, and necklaces and unfortunately Instagram cropped a bit of your question. Uh, I think you also asked if I could share a bit of the process. For my clay pieces I normally use a Fimo polymer clay but you can use any uh, brand of polymer clay. You also have Sculpey for example and there might be others but I only know those two. Uh, and yeah, I use Fimo and if you're not familiar with polymer clay, this is a modeling clay that you can sculpt uh, until you bake it in the oven and then it gets hard and it keeps its shape. I also want to try uh, Fimo air dry clay because it's more convenient, you don't have to use an oven but I'm not sure if the quality is the same because I know this one is very very resistant because I have um, polymer clay pieces like dropping to the floor and they never broke so I already know this one is a very good quality and yeah my process is basically I sculpt the pieces then I bake them then sand them I also wash them to remove all the sanding dust then I paint them with acrylics. Uh, I explained this in my last video. I don't use any expensive or fancy acrylic paints. I normally go for cheaper brands as long as they are good quality. And then after painting, I let them dry and seal them with, uh, with this Fimo glossy or semi-glossy varnish because it makes your uh, clay pieces really vibrant and alive and it makes them very resistant too so that was it for today i hope you enjoyed this video if you're feeling generous feel free to subscribe and maybe like the video because it really helps and yeah i can't wait to share more cute art with you and i can't wait to see you soon guys bye